Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Today we've got the Elikit TU8200R and you probably don't know, or you might know, you can use quite a few different types of valves. When you get this kit, we've just received a ton of them in a pallet which took eight weeks to get here from Japan, I'm not sure why. So I think the voyage is only five weeks, but anyway. So when you get the kit, you get the 6L6 GCJJ and also the input tube, which is an ECC82 JJ. Then you get that with the kit, but you are able to use this array of valves. So 6550, which is kind of the American version of the KT88, which you can also use. Um, EL34. Here, this is an EL34. Yep, and then the KT66. So. What we're going to do is just quickly play the same tune five times, just for about 20 seconds, so you can get an idea. But be aware that these, these valves haven't been burnt in, they're straight out of the box, they'll be plugged in um, and played. But it just gives you an idea what you can do. You get a bit more power handling with the bigger valves. Um, so let's start off with this. We're going to be playing in the waiting line um, by 07. There we go. I'll step out of the way. Uh, these valves are hot, hold, so I'm just going to use a rag. This one's got all the different chocolate from um, Cadbury's. Some classics there. Anyway, obviously they're hot. When you take a valve out, this octa valve, just get it to the base and then just slowly rotate and pull out. Like that. It's quite hot, so just pop it on that fabric there. And then set again. It's usually best to let them cool down, but yeah. Oh, by the way, we're using more than short speakers, which we have featured before. Um, these are the Carnival Series 2. The 70 speakers, pretty old. Um, they're pretty good. So, what should we go for next? Let's do the um, yeah, L34. So, these are Svetlana's. So, all these tubes have a different kind of tone. And there's the phone. Mate, can you get that? Slightly bit more mid rangey, I felt that one. Um, but I love the EL34 tube, it's got this kick ass, it's got some grunt about it. Um, right, so turn that off. I'll turn these tubes out. The reason there's no adjustments on these is because the bias is auto biased, so it kind of regulates itself. Right, let's go for KT66, which is more in line. That one. So these are Genelex Gold Lions. Fatter tube these. A similar kind of power up, just a bit lower than the R34. Look how great they look. What a retro look. Right, volume hasn't been changed. Turn it on.
sweet sound on those. Come on those. So this is 6550, which is kind of the American version of KC88. Um, I remember using these tubes when I was at World Audio Design. We did a kit 6550, we used these. But I found quite a solid stately sound here. Really, these. Quite straight. It's one of my favourite tubes. Let's see what they sound like. Good looking tube though. These are tongue saw. Reissues. But it's just that analytical sound that I didn't like about the 6550. It's like too, I like a warm, bad sound. So, let's hope, I'd say the KT88, it's in the specs, the 6550, it's going to sound better. It's all subjective, isn't it, really, because these are new tubes. Another option for you, but a great little kit. The uh, the Ed two zero zero R, love it. I use it at home with my computer with these. So brilliant. 